Good morning. You join me today outside of Hard Tech Garage, you just see over there, Porsche Specialists. We're here to speak with Tobias. He's one of the directors and he's going to show us around the workshop, tell us what type of work they're doing. <laughs> he's going to show us what applications they're using the Aquablast for. So let's just go inside. We'll go meet Tobias and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. So we are here at Hard Tech Porsche Specialists and this is Tobias. He is one of the directors here. Um, and he's going to show us around, see, he's going to show us what these guys do and why they are obviously so, well, so yeah. loved around the world really. Yeah, and that's we get why a lot people, of love. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, yeah. you, you said you get a lot of engines from pretty much everywhere in the world. We do, yeah, all over the place, lots of different countries. I mean, this car in particular drove all the way from Denmark for us to rework his engine. That's from now Denmark? A, yeah, and that's now a finished car, but it's been through. And that's ready to go? various stages of testing and it's um it's ready to go back to the customer yeah i mean what's what's the what's the furthest place that you've actually had an engine from or a car from oh um or weirdest estonia was that's uh, different uh, it's different yeah um all across europe obviously denmark norway i was um, saying europe europe is mainly Spain. your biggest sort of uh, customer base at the moment isn't it yeah it's relatively straightforward to yeah. get to us you know it's a, of course it's a bit of a drive but i did see on your map though it. i did see on your map that you have reunion on there we do so i know you're trying yeah, to keep that a secret i know you are yeah, this is a secret eye. location yeah. you can't yeah. keep that a secret from me i saw that but yeah. i mean reunion obviously I, I i know where reunion is i've never been or anything like that but that's Madagascar. a long way, yeah, that's a long way to bring an engine, right? Like, it's crazy, isn't it? it it's, Absolutely it's crazy. It's complete ins insanity, but like you said, people, they trust you, they, they, they see what yeah, you do. our reputations. Exactly. It, it speaks for itself. That's, that's the main thing. I mean, obviously here, like you, uh, I know you mentioned that this, you call this the graveyard. Yeah. This so. is not the graveyard. Let's just be <laughs> real about that, okay? These cars all will run at some point. Obviously, it will, this yes. is where they're stored for the time being, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, they will be brought back to life at some point. But all these cars are dead. Hence the term, the graveyard. The graveyard, yeah. Wait, That's the only reason, by the way. <laughs> yeah. There's no bodies in here. No, no, well, uh, anyways, yeah. we can't fit them in the Porsche boots, so. Yep. But uh, should we have a quick look around? I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm so more intrigued. Through. I'm through intrigued to, to see workshop. your workshop, basically, so. Wow, so this is your workshop. Yeah, so this is where the magic happens. This is the magic, hey, I tell you what, it is magic. Engine you know. installs, engine removals. Also service and repair work as well. But we've got an ex example over here of an engine that we've just rebuilt, it's going back together. So Tobias, I mean, I know when we had a chat beforehand, you were mentioning that the, uh, the company initially started mostly for servicing, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, it was your typical Porsche specialist yeah. where we were set up to service and repair. And then Porsches. obviously... Um, and as these engine problems have become more apparent, we've been set up and moved the business more towards that. Yeah. So that you've way. adapted yourself to obviously to basically what the customers really yeah, wanted. Yeah, exactly that. We've adapted, yeah. And, th and that's a good thing with you being a Porsche specialist because you know you, you can literally do everything from here. That's it. Yeah. Even to the engine builds, as you can see here. So we've yeah. got. So even though it it is in for an engine repair, we can assess the rest of the car rest and the if car, all the work yeah. needs doing. We've got opportunities to do that as well. So the customer then doesn't have to pick the car up from us. Take, take it somewhere, somewhere else, else. Something else, somewhere else, something yeah. else. We can do it all under one roof. And this is obviously, I mean, this is why your reputation is what it is, because of that reason, you know, you're like the trusted centre for, for the Porsche, for the Porsche drivers. Really. Yeah, yeah. It's giving customers back their fixed car, yeah. that's tested, all the faults are ironed out, yeah. and complete peace of mind with it, so it, it works very well. So once the engine's been removed, that one's just come out, but, um, we take all the ancillaries, all the gearbox, all the exhaust, all the bits off it that we don't want at this stage, assess those separately, and then the engines pass through into our yeah. stripped down room where we can properly then pull the engine apart, see what's inside it, and have a good look at what's gone wrong and what what's gone wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever needs cleaning, needs cleaning, whatever exactly. needs replacing, we'll, we'll need yeah. replacing as well. So yeah. that's just come out, that's ready to be, is that, yes. that's ready to be worked on, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. You can see it there, I mean, it's a whole, literally, it's a whole engine takeout transmission. It's a big lump, yeah. The whole thing, and yeah. the thi you don't realise how big an engine actually is with the transmission until you actually see it out, and that's why they've got the equipment. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> From here, obviously, in terms of your cleaning of the engines, are you just doing sort of traditional cleaning, wire brushes, and I know you've got one yeah. of our Aquablast machines as well we have yeah so we'll go through into the strip yeah room. yeah of course i mean uh, you've been we'll some examples you've been one of the main guys here how do you find the aqua blast uh, we had a, we had a chat with uh, with lee he showed us obviously a couple of a uh, couple of stuff 
and he's happy with it, but how do you find it? Like, is this something that it's doing the job properly and efficiently? Yeah, it's great. It works very well. And without it, we won't be able to achieve the process that we wanted and the finish that we get now. So, I mean, wow. So here we've got a completely stripped down engine and we've allocated two shelves to it to properly lay out and assess all the parts. And we're not just tunnel vision on the fault that it's coming for, we're applying our, all of our knowledge to that engine to make sure there's not other things about to go wrong. To eliminate it. any potential future problems that you yeah, may have. Yeah, future problems. Of course, of course. want to do it right. But like you said, I mean, these, these are pretty much ready to customer cars, strip yeah, down, ready to be clean, various stages, like you said. Yeah. And, and that's, like I said, I mean, it's it's something it's something that it would fill me with confidence if, if yeah. I was a Porsche driver and I knew you guys existed and I saw this. Yeah. I know, I'd feel a bit more comfortable yeah. thinking, yeah, all right, just keep my car. It's going to take three months. That's fine, keep it for three months, yeah. no problem. Because I know you're going to do the best job at it, really, aren't you? So, yeah. But no, I think, obviously, can we have a quick look at the Aqua Blast as well? Yeah, sure. Excellent. Excellent. So, various cleaning, various cleaning machines here. And we've got the 1215 Aqua Blast. Yeah. So, we use, as it was when, it was delivered. Yeah. Turn got table, the turn table in there. Flexi hose, everything like that. Um, yeah. So I mean, in, in terms of you using it, have you used it yourself? Yeah. 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 How do you find it? Like when you're using it? Yeah. Easy Fantastic. to use. Yeah. It's very easy to use. We take quite a lot of time preparing the parts before we blast them. Before you blast them, yeah. Masking off certain faces and covering up certain other areas. Yeah. Um, so obviously, the last thing you want is one bead, just one bead to yeah. be in there. <laughs> but we've never had any problems, and it's, no. the, 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 the surface finish that we get afterwards is fantastic. Yeah, really I mean, good. That, that's, that's the thing with the surface treatments, and again, the, the fact that you use glass beads on an engine itself, it obviously creates a peeling process which will in turn future proof it, like you said, you know, it, it, it's that responsibility that you you have on the engine, and when it goes back to the customer, you know that that engine's going to be at the best it can be. Yeah. Let's not forget, some of these engines are 20 plus years old, yeah, so yeah. you know there's only so much that you can do, exactly, and the yeah. Aqua Blast machine can do. Without taking metal off and exactly. starting again, you, exactly. You've got to work with what you're presenting with. With what you're presenting with, and obviously, from what I've seen from other applications, other customers from the Aqua Blast, and that's what that's what they love so much about it is the fact that you know it literally does what it what it's meant to do. Yeah. You can't really use it wrong unless you want to use it wrong. You yeah. know, it's yeah. So, yeah. but I'm glad I'm glad that obviously it's it's. It's something that you use on a daily basis, and obviously, you know, it's a service that you do offer to your customers, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's, it's not something more, that more popular. Yeah, yeah. So it's something that you know, bring it in. I want this uh, doing. I've got this fault, and then it's something like, oh, well, by the way, whilst it's here, if you want us to give it a quick clean as well. Exactly. So it's a good, it's a good service to offer to customers rather than you know, sort of. Yeah, we'll do it anyway. You know, if, if they want it, but the only time that they can see an engine that's been aqua blasted is through your Facebook, your social medias, yeah. and it's through videos like this, obviously, just it is, that yeah. builds that awareness of awareness, it. Yeah. Absolutely. But it's, it's good to be able to match the outside of the engine with the, to how clean the inside yeah. of it is. With the hard work that obviously you guys do, and let, that lead us here yeah. as well. Got it. The Porsche Guru, so, you know, he has to do, he, he does the best work. And I know for uh, I know that recently that you've just converted your machine to a closed loop system, haven't you? Yes, that's right. Now, how does that help you, the closed loop system? Like, you know, what difference has that made from from the open loop? It's just made the maintenance of the machine a bit easier, a bit easier. keeping it a bit cleaner, and uh, being able to have the machine tucked away in the corner too, yeah. without the lines running through. Yeah, in this room, so it's all how we came out so far. No, I was going to say the closed loop. It is definitely one of our popular models because of that reason, you know, you don't, you're not yeah. sort of going, oh, well, the water main, so it's a fish machine, isn't it? Exactly, yeah. exactly. Obviously, it needs its own maintenance, um, you know, every week, it will get cleaned, the buckets will get yeah. cleaned out and stuff like that, the filter, yeah, but yeah. that's a lot easier than, you know, doing it the other way, and like exactly. you said, with the mains water running through, that's your environmental side of things kicking in, and, yeah. you know, yeah. it's, it's, it's not something we want to get into, really, so. No. <laughs> but no, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that, obviously, the closed loop is working for yourself as well. Most of yeah. our customers who order it, yeah. Say the same thing. It's exactly as, it, as you guys described. So yeah, it's not working. Perfect. So someone came down, they fitted it, fitted it properly. Yeah, it was done properly through Vixen. Job done. Yeah, within a day, no messing. Perfect. No messing because obviously you know that's uh, they've actually they're busy here. So yeah, we're, we're taking up we're actually taking up a lot of their time. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to bring this to an end. Yeah. Please, well, thank you. Thanks, Lawrence. Thank you so much for your time and uh, <coughs> excuse me, I need to.
It's just the pressure of being in the presence of the heart <laughs> specialist. That's all it is. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much, Tobias. And uh, yeah, please don't forget to subscribe to ourselves. Don't forget to follow Heart Tech as well. They're doing some great work and they have a lot of pictures, a lot of posts out there just to show what they do. And uh, subscribe, follow, and we'll catch you on the next one. Cool.